Okay, so now that you've seen how badly I did in my first crit, here are four things that I learned in my first crit. So the first thing is practice the start, that is clipping in. And you'll see this guy right here, see how fast he did it. Boom, that's it. So, one pedal stroke and then you clip in. Now, let's see how I did it. And for this, I'm gonna time it so you guys can see how much longer it took me. So, seven seconds. And that might not sound like a lot, but you can see ahead that all these guys are already clipped in and they're accelerating. While I'm still, I just finished clipping in and now I have to accelerate to catch up with them. So that's not a good start. So clipping in is very important. Now, the next thing is don't stay at the back. And this is a mistake that I also made. So you can see this is right at the beginning of the race and there's a pretty much everyone is ahead of me and there's a gap already that I have to close. So the thing is that I didn't close it right away and you can see that I'm kind of accelerating. This was a, you know, a lot of watts spent and we're going downhill. So I have to close that gap and then stay with the group. The thing is too, if I'm with the group, uh, then I don't have to do these accelerations. So here, like 600 watts, which for me, that's a lot. And um, maybe some people can handle those kind of accelerations better than me. But, you know, I, I kind of close the gap here, but then I don't really. And then we have this little riser here, which is not a lot, but the pace was pretty high. And, well, again, for me anyway. So, but if I had been in the middle of the pack, then, you know, I would maybe slide back a little bit, but then I wouldn't have to be all the way back and then have to respond to these accelerations that the group did. Plus, I'd be in the draft, so I don't have to be accelerating as much and I can, you know, I can be guarded from the wind. So, you know, staying at the back is a bad idea and I, I, I know it's easier said than done, but, you know, I, I think it's something to point out, you know, have that in your mind when I when when you start racing and it might it will make a difference. Okay, so the third thing is join the beginner racing program. Now I'm talking specifically about US cycling and that's what they call it. But maybe in your country it might be called something else. And basically what that program is is it teaches new racers what to expect during a race. And I thought that was pretty cool because this was my first race and listening to the coach that talked to us before the race, he gave us some good tips. He told us, you know, focus on the apex um, and things like that. So the coach that talked to us, which is this guy right here, he actually raced with us. He didn't really, he wasn't part of the race, but he, he didn't compete is what I mean. But he was there and then at the end of the race he gave us some pointers and some things that we can improve on and i definitely learned a lot so if you can do that if there's something like that where you live i think it's it's very valuable and you can learn a lot from people who have done this for a while i mean you can watch races because you know i like watching crits and you know uh road races and stuff like that but uh it's not until you're there that you realize how hard those races are and what it takes to even be competitive. So I thought that was pretty cool. And if you can do that, I think it's it's valuable information you can get. The fourth thing is pretty obvious, get your gear ready the day before. And I'm, I'm mentioning this because um, I didn't make the time myself to prepare specifically my wheels. So I have just one pair of wheels but I had changed the tires on my wheels uh, and I was using my training tires, which are great, you know, for training, you know, on, when I go on long rides and stuff, like I've never gotten a flat, these tires are great, but they're pretty sluggish. So it makes a big difference when I 
change those to my Conti GP tires. And I know it, you know, it's not like I'm an expert on, you know, this this type of thing and, you know, what tires to use or roller resistance and all that, but I can tell the difference. And I knew that I had to change the tires, but just the day before I got busy with other stuff and I just didn't make the time. So, um, it's something that I have to do next time. Now, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't have gotten dropped, uh, which, you know, the official right here is just saying, okay, bye-bye. Um, but it would have made a difference, I think. You know, it's all about conservation of energy. Like, you want to conserve as much energy as you can, and uh, if something like your tires are going to help you, uh, I think it's worth, if you have them, of course, I think it's worth it. Um, and that's it so four things that I learned in my first script uh, I hope these are helpful and please share in the comments below the things that you do to prepare for races or what things you do during a race so that we can all learn um, I think it's that's one of the reasons why I post these videos so that I can share with people and also people can share with me and uh, we can all be better racers uh, I'll keep doing it I keep racing um, I hope you like this content and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.